Welcome to our tutorial on using cameras. Let's start by activating the camera. Let's right click and select Add Camera. Under Camera Type, we can aim it at the target or we can choose a floating camera. If we aim it at the target, the camera will be locked to the target. Whereas a floating camera can freely float and is not locked to the target. I'm going to choose Aimed at Target. We can grab and drag the target point, or we can simply use the Target by Selection field. I'm going to select my cap. The next control area is Camera Position. I can simply grab and drag the camera. I can use these arrows to drag. I can also position by selection. The next section, Camera Rotation, lets me enter a rotation angle. The next control area is called Field of View. We can select a perspective or respective view. From this drop down menu, we can choose from a number of lens presets. For this example, I'm going to select a 50mm standard lens. Next is the view angle, the height of the view, and the length of the view, or the distance of the camera to the view rectangle. We can also make adjustments using the slider or pulling these dials. When we're satisfied with our view, let's click OK. Now let's right click and select Camera View. And we're ready to render. Now we can see our results. There's another option I wanted to show you. Let's right click, select Properties, and let's go look at the Depth of Field Control Area. Here we can use Focus by Selection using this field, or we can set the distance to the exact focus which is presented by this middle plane. I'm going to set the focus on the cap. These two planes represent the approximate distance where the focus will be lost. Looks good, let's click OK. Now let's right click on camera 2 and oh yes, we've already got the camera view selected. Let's render. You see that we've got the cap in focus, but the rest of the scene is out of focus. OK, the rendering is complete. As you see, using the camera lets you do more realistic rendering of the scene. Let's right click and select Properties. Now let's refocus our plane. This time, I'll focus the plane on the bottle and the label. Let's click OK. And let's render again.
And as you can see, the label is in focus and the cap, it is out of focus. And this concludes our tutorial on using cameras.